Hey everybody, this is Stellar Firefly with another video tutorial, and this time we are going to cover how to install the DZ AI add-on to your GTX Gaming DZ server. I've picked this particular add-on as the first in a series of add-on focused tutorials for two main reasons. First, it's a very good and popular add-on for AI bandits, or NPC bandits as some people like to call them, that a lot of admins really want to get running on their servers. It has some pretty cool features and it works really well. Second, it's super easy to install, and so it's a good first add-on for many new DAISY admins who are just learning to manually install their own add-ons. This video tutorial will be very specific to GTX Gaming DAISY servers. It's not that DZ AI won't work with other server hosts, it works just fine with most any DAISY environment. It's just that we're going to make use of some features of GTX Gaming hosting to simplify our installation procedure that may not be available from other DAISY server hosts. You can get the general idea about how to do it with other hosts from this video tutorial, but we won't be going through all the details on how to do it in a generic way. In particular, the only tools that you'll need to know how to use in order to follow the steps in this video are your TC Admin Control Panel, which you should already know about if you've been starting and stopping your server, and an FTP client to transfer files and folders to your server, which I've covered in another video tutorial. So if you don't know how to use an FTP client yet, then head over and watch my Accessing Server Files video tutorial. The first thing we need to do is grab the DZAI package. Head on over to github.com slash DZAI slash DZAI and click on the Download Zip button at the very right to download DZAI and save it anywhere on your drive. We'll now scroll down a bit and take a look at the basic installation guide. Note that it mentions the use of something called PBO Manager, but we'll get back to this in just a bit. The steps essentially tell us to extract something called daisy underscore server dot PBO using this PBO Manager, then make a change to a text file, then copy the DZAI folder someplace, and then repackage all our changes back into this daisy underscore server dot PBO thing. So let's keep these basic steps in mind as we continue with this tutorial. It'll give you a good general idea about how a lot of DAISY add-ons are installed, and it can help you beginners get a better understanding about what and how it's done, and hopefully help you to figure out how to install other add-ons in the future. Now here's where we deviate from our generic steps to make our lives and this installation a bit easier. The steps said to use something called PBO Manager to extract our daisy underscore server dot PBO file, but instead we'll just head over to our TC Admin Control Panel and first make sure that our server is stopped, we can't make changes to a running server, and click on the Extract PBO icon, then press OK when it asks if you'd like to execute the script. Yep, we don't need to install and use PBO Manager ourselves, at least not to install this particular add-on, because the GTX Gaming Control Panel already includes the utility to perform the PBO manipulation step for us. Make sure to wait until the window says that it's all done, and that it's safe to close the window, and then close the window. The contents of our daisy underscore server dot PBO are now available to us. Click on the File Manager icon to switch to the File Manager and open up the Archives folder. This is where the script stashes the extracted .pbo file. But wait, we can see that it isn't called daisy underscore server, it's called at daisy underscore epic underscore server. Don't worry, this is just how GTX Gaming names the extracted directory. If you're running a standard daisy server, then it'll be called at daisy underscore server. But if you're running an epic or an overpox server like we are here, then it'll be called at daisy underscore epic underscore server. The instructions wanted us to edit the server underscore monitor dot sqf file beneath the system directory, so let's keep going down the tree. Click to open the at daisy underscore epic underscore server folder, then the add-ons folder, and finally the system folder. And there's our server underscore monitor dot sqf file. Click on the pencil icon next to it to open the file editor. Let's briefly go back to our DZAI browser tab to see exactly what change they want us to make, because it'll be a lot less prone to mistakes if we copy and paste the changes instead of trying to retype it all by hand. Here we see that it wants us to find the line that says, allow connection equals true, and then above that line, add this text here that begins with an open and close square bracket. So let's select and copy this whole line of text. Then we'll head back to our File Editor tab and search for that line of text using our browser search function, usually Control F. Once we find it, we'll paste the new line of text from the installation instructions above it. I also like to add a comment right above it, just in case I have to go back later on and see what I've done. 
Then we'll click the Save button at the top to save our changes. The other thing that the instructions wanted us to do is to copy the DZAI folder into the .pbo file. First, let's go find this DZAI folder that it's talking about. Find the DZAI.zip file that you downloaded and open it up. Then open up the DZAI master top-level folder. Here we see a bunch of files and folders, but as the instructions said, the one we really want is this one, just called DZAI. Let's drag it to our desktop so that it is extracted from the zip archive and is now an actual folder with other files and folders in it. Now here's where our FTP client comes in. You could, of course, use any FTP client that works for you. In this tutorial, we'll be using WinSCP. Connect to your server and navigate to the same place you were in the file manager, namely archives at daisy underscore epic underscore server add-ons. Then, just upload that DZAI folder from your desktop right into this add-ons folder where it'll sit right next to the compile, init, missions, etc. other folders. DZAI itself is less than a megabyte and a half large, so it shouldn't take long to upload it. Um, unless your internet is lagging. Okay, time to fast forward. After your DZAI folder is uploaded, however long that takes, you just need to repackage the .pbo file again. Head back over to your TC Admin Control Panel and click on the Create PBO button. Then press OK when it asks if you'd like to execute the script. And just like before, wait a bit while your PBO is repackaged and make sure it says that it's safe to close the window. And then close the window. And believe it or not, you're done! You've just successfully added AI bandits to your DAISY server and increased the number of things in the game trying to kill you. Congratulations! As always, it's a good idea to start up your server and then log in and test it out to make certain that everything's running okay before you do anything else or make any changes. That may take a bit if you're out in the wilderness somewhere, but if you're in a city like Chernogorsk or Stary Sobor, or some military installation, then it shouldn't take too long for you to spot some AI bandits. Or if your luck is anything like mine, it shouldn't take long for them to spot you. If you're reasonably sure that they just aren't around, or if worse, your game freezes up during connection or something, then just go back through all the steps we've mentioned in this tutorial and double check everything. Chances are you've just made a simple mistake somewhere, like a typo or you forgot to save your changes. Thank you all very much for watching and I hope that this tutorial was helpful to you new admins whom are just getting started with installing your own add-ons. Please don't hesitate to like or subscribe if you feel so inclined. Keep an eye on my channel because soon I'll make a supplemental video detailing exactly how to customize DZAI. And later on I'll be making even more videos about installing various other DAISY add-ons. And as always, good luck, have fun, and watch out for those AI!